Hello everyone, so this is a uh, short video I want to share. Uh, I had an experience with the uh, TV last night. Uh, so what happened was that I was watching the TV and then all, all of a sudden uh, the screen started to flicker. Uh, it was quite bad and it went for about a few seconds, about 10 seconds. And right after that, it just went blank. Power was still on, but there was nothing on the screen anymore. So after an hour, I decided to turn on the TV again, and uh, it was working fine again. So I had that for about 10 minutes, and then I turned it off. And when I turned it back on again, uh, the same symptom happened. So uh, I did some research on the internet, and um, so I decided to do some of my decided to do some troubleshoot. Uh, oh, by the way, my TV is a Samsung model, uh, UA40H5552AR. It's a smart TV, it's been around for 5 years now. So far, there hasn't been any problem with it, uh, only uh, last night uh, it decided to have. So, um, as you can see from here, um, the power, the rate indicators uh, indicated there, it shows that there is power. Uh, that's a standby power and uh, but when I turn it on with a remote control um, you can all you see is the red light indicator just blinking yeah so it will blink for about five to six times and it'll stop like this yeah and you do not see anything there's nothing on the screen uh, although there is still volume um, playing at the background I think the videos are still playing so what I did was um, after doing some research on the internet they said to use a uh, flashlight to you know flash onto the screen to see if you can see anything and yeah so you can see from here the icons are still visible through the flashlight uh, Netflix is there YouTube is there so it's quite a clear indication um, that this has something to do with uh, the backlight and the only way uh, to get this fixed is to replace the LEDs which is uh, all the way at the back of the TV where you need to dismantle everything including the LCD, the LCD board, everything stripped down to get access to it. So I got my TV on my table, I'm going to dismantle it, uh, hopefully I might be able to see something, something wrong in there, and uh, yep, I'm going to start from the TV stand first, there's four screws here uh, that are securing the stand, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get my screwdriver, and I'm going to take those screws up. I've already taken three of them, this is the last one. So once when we've removed all the screws, we just need to pull the stand out. Now we will have to remove the remaining screws uh, that is currently securing the back panel. I think there are about at least um, 9 or 10 screws there. Okay, so right now I am uh, removing the screw that is securing the uh, input and output port um, and 
still want to take note that um, the screw in this particular one is a little bit different from the rest. So now all the screws have been removed, it's time to take out the cover. Um, start from the side and slowly work your way. Um, there are no clips or anything like that that is uh, securing the back panel to the to the base or the chases. So you just have to gently uh, pull the cover out. And... Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. You've got several boards here, and this is the main board. And this is the power board. Then we got the T-Con board, or we call it as a timer board. Timer control, sorry. And then we got the speakers, uh, left and right. Okay, so after some close uh, observation, uh, I do see there's some problems at the uh, power bar. Uh, as you can see, some of the components there are starting uh, to have indication of corrosion. You can see one of the uh, there are also some rust. There's a uh, on the components, especially this one, the jumper kit, jumper cable. I think that's what you call it. And that's another one. That's presence of corrosion. So flipping back on the PCB board, didn't really find anything um, different except for this particular component. I thought it was a little bit loose and uh, when I flip it and I start moving it, I think there was a dry solder there. You can see the legs there are moving. So I didn't have enough um, instruments to continue with my further testing or troubleshooting like the multimeter or even the LCD tester so I decided to go on to the internet and I found this person who was selling uh, the same TV unit as I was uh, only thing is that it had a cracked screen so uh, as for the rest of the parts it was all still in working condition so I bought it from him and brought back the unit and dismantled the uh, power bar. So here I am uh, fixing the replacement power board. That's the cable that connects to the power wire. Uh, it powers the backlight. And this is the uh, main power supply that will power up the uh, main board. Final check. So I'm gonna turn off the lights now. So that if the backlight 
does come back on, we can see it clearer in the dark. Moment of truth. Oops, forgot the connector. <laughs> My bad. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can see the uh, backlight that is uh, at the background. You can see, and this is the T board, T con board. It's all in working order. Now everything is back to normal. Um, I hope this tutorial did give you some insights. Uh, I'm by no means a professional or an experienced uh, person when it comes to television. I'm just sharing my experience here. Uh, of course, there are a lot of other better videos out there if you want to get a better idea when it comes to troubleshooting. But um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, do help and subscribe to my channels. Thanks for watching.